Hello, my name is Maria Keller and I'm a digital artist from Mexico. On this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a cute flower with simple shapes in Adobe Illustrator. All the keys and shortcuts I use will be displayed on the screen so you can follow along. Let's begin. The first thing you see is that I had already created my document. And if you don't know how to create a document in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to teach you very quickly how. So all you have to do is, is click here on File, New or press Ctrl N on your keyboard. And once you do that, a window like this is going to appear. As you can see here, I'm using the latest version of Illustrator CC, but if you're using a previous version, while in a different layout, this information should be the same. So you can see that for this project, I pick a size of 800 by 600 pixels, because I think that's good enough, and I made sure that I create select the color mode RGB, because I'm not going to be printing this project. And once you have select this, we're going to hit create. I already created mine, so that's not something I want to press. So first thing we're going to work for our flower are going to be the petals. And to do that, and to do all the shapes of the, of the flower, we're going to be using shape basic shapes. So a good idea would be to go here to our tools panel, and probably by default you're going to see a rectangle tool here. But if you click and hold that click, you're going to, be, you're going to see the rest of the shape tools. And I'm going to be using this a lot, so something that I like to do is just click here where this little triangle is and that way I can deattach the window and place it near my canvas. Now what I'm going to do is beginning with a rectangle tool, so I'm going to click here or press M on my keyboard, and once I do that, I'm just going to make a click here. And when you do that, you're going to get a window like this, telling you to give the width and the height of the rectangle. So I'm going to do for this project, sorry, for this part, 667 by 120 on this one. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, I had already created my shape. And the next thing I want to do is round the corners, but I'm only going to round some of them, not all of them. So I'm going to go here to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard, select this anchor point, the one on the top right. Then while pressing shift, I'm going to select the other one on the bottom left. And I'm going to round these corners by inputting a number here on the top of 60. I'm going to press enter to apply that. And as you can see here, now we have created our first petal shape. Now I'm going to remove the stroke because I don't need it by selecting my object and then removing here the stroke and filling this shape with a pink color that I had already selected. As you can see here, I had already selected my swatches, but you can and therefore selected my colors, but you can feel free to select whatever color suits your flower. Since this is going to be about the spring, I thought about making some very bright colors. So I'm going to fill it with this light pink. And then the next thing I want to do is actually create this shape, but in a mirror um, version. So I have the opposite. So I'm going to select my shape and then go right click, transform, reflect. And then once you do that, a window like this is going to appear. Here you can click on a little preview to make sure that you are reflecting on a vertical axis and hit copy. Now that I have both of them, I can move it while pressing shift to constrain it to the same axis or to the same uh, direction of movement. And now what I want to do is go here to my window and select align or you can press shift F7. And once you do that, these tools are going to appear. And what I want to do is select both my shapes then click again on the first one to make it the key object. And you can see how the outline now is, has been thicker, indicating that now this is a key object. And then I'm going to go here to distribute the spacing and make sure that here is a zero pixels and go here to horizontal distribute space. And what this is going to do is that the space between these two shapes is going to be zero, just as I had input it here. So I'm going to do that. And now you can see that they are right there. And I'm going to change the color to this one to a darker pink and this is going to be the shape of my flower. Now I'm going to create another one that is going to be on the back. So to do that I'm going to go here create a rectangle or press M on my keyboard and this time I'm going to make one that is 60 by 100 and select OK. Now I'm going to fill this one with a darker pink and one thing that I want to do is go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard, select this anchor point and then I'm called pressing shift. I'm going to move the arrow keys to the, to the left. 
and while I select the other anchor point, I'm going to again press shift and click on my right arrow to move it. In this case, it's going to be, I think it's 10 pixels, so it's going to work just fine. And I'm going to select both my top anchor points and then round the corners all the way to the center. So it's around 22 pixels. And now I want to center this um, shape to this to this other two ones. So I'm going to group the, the ones I created first by selecting both of them and pressing Ctrl G on my keyboard. Or you could go here to Object Group and then I'm going to select everything. Click again on my first shapes that I created to make them the key object. You can see how the outline changed. And then go here to Align and Horizontal Align Center. Now I want to send this one to the back, so I'm going to go right click, Arrange, Send to Back, or you could also press the shortcut Ctrl Shift Open Bracket. Now that you have this, I'm going to move this one here to the bottom. So to make this actually look better and probably a little bit to the top, and it's going to be that. Now I have my, my flower shape. I'm going to select everything and group it by pressing again Ctrl G, and that's going to be okay. Now I'm going to select this one and make sure that here on your align tools you are aligning to your artboard. So you're going to click there and then I'm going to go here to horizontal line center. Now my flower shape is in the horizontal axis, sorry, on the center of my canvas. So now I'm going to create the eyes and if you can see I have zoom in because I want to be able to see this bigger. So to do that you're going to press Ctrl plus and to zoom out you're going to press Ctrl minus. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, pan around while pressing my spacebar and moving around. And then I'm going to go here to my ellipse tool or press L on my keyboard and create an ellipse that is around, sorry, it's going to be like this, 9, 11, 9 pixels per 11 height. And I'm going to change the color to this darker brown color. It's going to be that. I'm going to create a copy by, while selecting this one and moving it. I'm going to press Alt to make a copy and Shift to create it on the same direction. Now that I have moved these ones around, I'm going to group them by pressing Ctrl G and again align them to the, to the same uh, axis by selecting everything, making the flower the key object and go here to Horizontal Align Center. Now the next thing I want to create is a circle. So I'm going to go to Ellipse Tool or press L on my keyboard and make a circle. Since this is going to be a circle, it's going to be, I think, 5 per 5. I think that's actually too small, so I'm going to actually make this one, sorry. By clicking here, I'm making one that is around 15 pixels. I'm going to hit OK. And now for this shape, I want to invert, so no stroke. Sorry, no fill and just to stroke. So I'm going to go here, click here to swap my fill and stroke, or you can press Shift X. And once you've done that, I'm going to change the stroke to this darker pink color that I created. And I'm going to select this, change the weight of my stroke by going here and making three. So now that I have done this, and if you don't see this window here of the stroke, you can always go here to window and find the stroke or press Ctrl F10. Once you've done that, I'm going to go to my direct, my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard, select this top anchor point and press delete on my keyboard. That way I only have this bottom part. Now I'm going to select my shape and again here on the stroke panel, I'm going to make sure that my caps are rounded. So now you can see that my caps are rounded. Now I'm going to align this by selecting this one and the flower shape, click again on the shape to make it the key object and go here to horizontal line center. And I'm going to move this mouth around here so it looks super cute. Now I'm going to create a stem. So to do that, I'm going to create another rectangle by clicking here or pressing M on my keyboard. And I'm going to make this one with a width of 15 and a height of 260. And I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to align this to my shapes again by selecting, making one the key object and horizontal line center. And then this one, I'm going to swap it because I need a fill and make this, select this green color and send it to back again by pressing Ctrl Shift open bracket. Now that I have done this, I'm going to move this one a little bit to the top so it's not that long and I'm going to create a, a leaf, surely two ones, so I'm going to go 
and create a rectangle by pressing M on my keyboard and then click here and I'm going to create this one with a width of 35 and a height of 57 and I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to change the color of this rectangle to a darker green. And once I've done this, I'm going to go and select my anchor points just as I did to create this flower shape. So I'm going to go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard, select the top anchor point and then this other one while pressing shift and round them all the way to the center, which is 35 pixels. Now that I have this shape, I want to rotate it, so I'm going to go to rotation, rotate tool, sorry, or press R on my keyboard. And when I do that, and I can double click, I can input an angle. So in the case of this one, I want to input an angle of 15. And you can here see that when you do that, you can have a little preview here. And you can do that. I'm going to hit OK. Now that I have this uh, shape here, I'm going to put it around here and send it to back again by Control Shift Open Bracket. I'm going to create a copy by going transform, reflect, and make sure that I'm creating a copy. Now I have another copy that I'm going to place around here. So I'm going to have both leaves there. I'm going to group them by selecting both of them and pressing Ctrl G and make sure that I align them to the center. It is always very important that you align your objects because otherwise this is not going to look like well designed. So you should always do that. The next thing we're going to do is going to be the pot. So to do that, I'm going to go here to my rectangle tool or press M on my keyboard and click. And I'm going to make one that is 135 by 28. And I'm going to hit OK. Change the color to this um, lighter brown and make sure that I align it as always, making my key object and move it around here. Now the next thing I want to create is another rectangle, so I'm going to press M or click here on my key, sorry, click here on my, with the mouse and change the width to 112 to 90 and I'm going to hit OK. And this one, I'm going to fill it with darker, um, darker brown. And what I'm going to do right now is going to go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard, click here on this, um, on this corner and while pressing shift I'm gonna again press my right arrow on my keyboard and let's do this twice and I'm gonna do the same but on the opposite direction so I'm gonna select the other anchor point and then pressing shift and my right arrow twice as we have it like this and I'm going to I could send this shape to back but I think it's better that I select this rectangle that I created before and go right click arrange, bring to front, or the shortcut that is Control shift close bracket And now I have this, I have to make sure that this shape that I created before is aligned. So again, as before, select both, make one the key object, and go horizontal align center. And now that I have this, we're almost done. I'm going to group all this by pressing Control G, and make sure that I'm aligning this to the horizontal line center and the vertical line center. So it is right there on the center of my canvas. Now I want to create a circle to make a nice a background for this. So I'm going to go to my ellipse tool or press L on my keyboard. And again, just make a click. And I want to make one that is 340 by 340. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to change the color to this light blue. Uh, center this one again by selecting it, horizontal line center, vertical line center. And all I have to do is again, right, sorry, I made a mistake there. Right click, transform, sorry, right click, arrange, send to back, or again, control shift, open bracket. Now that you have that, it's looking quite well. And finally, we're going to add a little bit of text here on the bottom. So uh, if you want to find a nice font that works for you, I would recommend you Google Fonts. And the one that I picked for this project is this one called Coming Soon, which you can download for free. So once you have downloaded your phone and installed it, all you have to do is go here to your tools panel and find the type tool or press T on your keyboard and then just click. And in here, we're going to type, sorry, spring is here. And let's add an exclamation mark. And I'm going to change here on the top my, my font and select that one that I just downloaded that is called 
coming soon. Now let's change the, the make it bigger by changing here the size. And let's work try with Terry. I think that's okay. Now I'm gonna actually change the color to this dark brown we use for the eyes. I'm gonna align. Sorry, first uh, make sure that my that my word is aligned to the center. So in case you decide to change the text, now it's going to automatically align to the center. So that's something that you should always do. And then I'm going to go here to align, sorry, horizontal align center. So now it's right there. And now let's, while well, pressing shift, place it here a little bit on the bottom. So right there. Now we're gonna group everything by pressing control G again. And then we're gonna just center it to our canvas by going here to horizontal line center and then vertical line center. And with that, we have finished our project and you, could see, you, can, you can see how with really basic shapes, we have created a cute flower that is great to use as a reminder that the spring is coming. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.